Shalom family, once again you're welcome. Welcome to this amazing, great, awesome, what an awesome session. It's your friend and your sister, Dr. Aaron, and bring you a timely word from the Lord. I appreciate all those that are checking already to this particular session. Do you always stop by whenever we do new video uploads? Returning viewers and returning subscribers, God bless you. You know, this day the Lord gave me this word in, he made two sentences. First, it was in the morning when he said, you have never been their priority. That was the first sentence that the Lord made. And then when I went for service and after I came back and while I was busy doing up some things, I heard him say again that their conscience is killing them. Their conscience is breaking them. You know, the conscience of a man is that center that God put in order to judge us the good and the bad, what we do. Your first time to click on my video, special thank you to you. I love you so much. Consider to like the video, subscribe to this ministry if you haven't subscribed, and the Lord bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. So, when I put up these two words that the Lord gave me, He said, I should give you this. He said, You have never been their priority. They should not make it sound now like you have been their priority. Because from the beginning, you have never been their priority. You know, one of the greatest way to fight low, to fight people looking down on you, despising you, racism, sexism, and all of that, one of the greatest way to do that is by having self-love. So despite the fact that you were not their priority, you were not their, their, their focus, they just needed you to do you know, for their gain, their personal gain. But your life, your achievements, your growth, your, your, your moving forward has never been their priority. And so this person right now, they are, they are feeling guilty. Their conscience is killing them. The reason is because they have seen how you love yourself. You develop yourself, your capacity. And you're pushing yourself to places where they could never take you to. They had the opportunity to invest in you, but they didn't just put you as their priority. And right now, their feelings were ashamed. Their conscience is beating them because they missed the opportunity that God gave them to be a helper in your life. God says, keep on looking up to the hills where your help comes from because much more help will come. Those that denied to help, they will certainly be judged.